uh, federal patent advised you no matter what you say it will be in the press. Uh, did you take his advice over the years, and how would you assess your relations with the press during your Vietnam years? Well, uh, that's a very interesting question. Um, well, what Joe Patton, he recounted uh, an anecdote uh, about uh, uh, one of the camps I had in my area. There were civilians. There was uh, there were senior Nazi officials. And there was a press conference that Patton had when he went back to promote the war bonds. They uh, asked him about those civilian detainees, and he admitted that, uh, that we had a number of them, and uh, the biggest camp was in my area. And then the press said, well, how can you justify this? Uh, and for locking up these civilians, they're not military. And Patton said, well, I think we ought to let them out. And they said, you know, how can you justify that? And he said, well, they're just like Republicans and Democrats. <laughs> now, that, that's, just, that's the anecdote. Yes. Now, uh, I, uh, I'm not sure uh, that, uh, that I learned anything from Patton about handling media. In fact, I don't think I learned anything about it. Uh, media's got their job to do. I'm philosophical. I didn't always have that. They've got their job to do, but we the military got ours to do, and frequently there's a conflict of interest, and it's absolutely inevitable. And I think uh, that uh, I think both sides should be big enough, uh, uh, broad-minded enough, to realize that there are two points of view, and then everywhere there's going to be a clash of interest. Yes. And uh, you just have to accept it. Uh, General, did he give you any advice on Southeast Asia? Well, I talked to him extensively when we went to Vietnam. Uh, MacArthur, of course, has spent so much time in the Far East that uh, his, his, uh, his global view was somewhat distorted by favoritism toward uh, 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 Chiang Kai-shek. Uh, and uh, he was very, uh, very... Uh, emotionally uh, disposed against the Mazi tongue. Yes. And um, so he, he, he gave me some uh, comments. Uh, he thought through what he was going to tell me, and he talked for about an hour and a half. Um, and I, I would say I benefited from it, but uh, frankly, uh, some of what he said uh, reflected that that bias that he had, uh, which was uh, pretty well oriented to Chiang Kai-shek. Uh, he, he, didn't, he didn't accept Chiang Kai-shek as a has-been. Yes, I see. Okay. Now let's move you to Saigon. When you first moved to Saigon, uh, you said that as a soldier you were used to danger. How did your wife and children handle being exposed to danger while living there? Well, they were exposed to plenty of it. There's no question about that. They, uh, they became a target for the Viet Cong. They destroyed all the recreation facilities, or threatened all the rec recreation facilities that were available to the, the to the kids. They uh, blew up the theater, and there were, there were people killed, including the Marine captain. Uh, they put uh, there was a swimming pool there that the kids could use, and they uh, they found uh, explosives in the flower, flower pots around me the edge of the pool. Uh, then they put explosives uh, under the, uh, the, the uh, stands of the, uh, uh, the viewers of uh, the softball games that they played on a softball diamond, which ironically was called Pershing Field. <laughs> uh, and uh, so they, uh, they, they, they got to the point where they, uh, they were pretty well clustered as a matter of safety. Uh, and, uh, and uh, some of the compounds that uh, Washington lived in. Yes. In Saigon. And uh, they went to school, uh, uh, escorted by military police, and they had the uh, kitchen wire around the bus to keep grenades from being thrown in. And they had a machine gun on top of the school building. Uh, the kids thought it was great. Yes. They loved every minute of it, but uh, it did worry us parents. I imagine. Well, I've got a very strong wife, and uh, she was very good in, uh, in uh, giving them uh, recreation uh, that, that, were not, uh, that were not 
without exposing them to terrorism.